Yo, admit it. This game broke you. You thought you could figure things out on your own, but the sheer number of deaths was just too much for you. Let me ease your pain. Let's start with the basics. Supply crate colors on most maps are white, common, up to red, rare and best. They might grant you weapons with percentages on them. This improves the damage they do with regular ammo and the stun or torpor effect they apply with trank ammo. Of your basic tools, the hatchet farms more materials like keratin, chitin, wood, hide and stone for example, while the pickaxe gets more meat, metal, thatch, and flint. And resources respawn after some time, as long as you don't build too close to them. The more you weigh, the slower you move. You should be able to fill up just below the handle. Once the horizontal part is visible, you'll be encumbered. Don't forget that you can repair some gear on the fly by finding the required materials, but definitely carry multiple items if they have durability or run out easily. If an item mysteriously disappears from your inventory, check your hotbar. Double clicking on an item, for example, will place it in the first available hotbar slot. The item will continue to take up weight by the way. A super easy way to get rotten meat which you can use in a mortar and pestle to make narcotics is to hold shift and drag the stack to split it in half. Stacks will expire based on this timer and each new stack will have its own timer. Read the descriptions on food and items. Narco berries, for example, make you pass out and increase your torpor. Conversely, stim berries decrease torpor but also dehydrate you. And never fully dehydrate. You will pass out. Make sure you find water or hope for rain. If you crafted jars or water skins, you can fill them up by pressing E on them while you're in the water or the rain. Watch out for fall damage. Dinos won't get hurt unless you're riding them, so jump off at the last second to save you both. Buildings have inventories, so for example, you can place raw meat and wood in a campfire and produce cooked meat. If you get gliders, apply them as a skin to a piece of armor and don't forget to remove the skin to swap it with another piece of armor if you need to change your clothes. Lastly, beaver dams are a great place to find rare flowers, rare mushrooms, and even silica pearls. Just be aware that all the overgrown beavers will try to gnaw your face off for stealing their stuff. Having a simple shelter can be very useful, not only for surviving creatures, but also to keep you protected from the elements. Stone wall fortifications will save you early on. One wall high is good, two walls high is better, and most of my forts had this height, but three walls should achieve max safety. Unless an alpha comes knocking, they actually can damage stone structures and cannot be tamed. Structures you want to build with need to be in your inventory or hotbar. Press E on it to start building and press E again while placing it to change the direction it's facing. And removing a support like a wall will destroy all the structures relying on it without warning. Structures actually weigh less than the raw materials used to craft them, so try turning raw materials into structures and cart those around instead. You can upgrade parts of your structure by placing a new part in the same place as the old one. The old piece will be destroyed, but you get some of the resources back, which is safer than just removing a structure. Spark powder is a great alternative to wood as a fuel source, since it's not too hard to get. It can light everything from fireplaces to your forge and keep them burning for a while. Campfires and torches can help you if you're cold, and it's much easier to find your structure in the dark if it's glowing. And torches can be placed on a saddle by first dropping it in the tame's inventory, then onto the saddle. If your tame gets a leech, you'll have to remove it by using the selection wheel. If you get a leech, you'll need to step in fire, so build a campfire and walk on it. Lastly, if you're obsessive about things lining up perfectly, prepare to have your heart broken. The building system in this game is very finicky. When first exploring, stay clear of the jungles. Trudons can torpor you quickly, and other dangers like raptors, insects, compies, and saber-tooths can be hard to notice. Instead, stay along the beaches and watch the movement of the other herbivores. If they're fleeing, you probably should too. I always traveled with bolas early on to keep smaller dangers from chasing me. Also, knocking a dino unconscious can be quicker than going straight for the kill. For personal stats, I focused on health, speed, and carrying capacity. I literally ignored the other stats. Spears are a great weapon since they have good range and can be thrown as well. Just be careful with the durability since they break easily, even when thrown. A hide sleeping bag is a very useful single-use respawn point early on. It doesn't need foundations and shows up on a minimap, making it a useful marker for important locations like caves. I found the water really dangerous. Open water can house megalodons and they aggro from very far off. Rivers can be safer, but be careful of other creatures like Baryonyx who can stun you off your tame. However, jumping in the water is a great way to escape insects. The day-night cycle and randomized weather can be hard to manage early on. If you're away from shelter, you will comically vacillate between freezing cold and boiling hot temperatures. These extremes cause you to become hungry or thirsty more quickly 
quickly. Try building a fire or using a personal torch to warm up and also make sure that you're wearing the appropriate clothing for your environment. If these tips helped, say so in the comments and sub to join my growing channel.